And the rebound cleared by the Hawks. They go inside to Ryan with a 2-0 lead. Ryan to her right will bank one high off the glass. And now St. A's with the ball looking to reclaim the lead. Yeah, if you're going to press, you got to make shots. Skip pass for Martin. Long two is good. Now yeah, Michaela Martin, known for her hustle, able to show the offensive touch there. Missed by Wong, leads the Hawks the other way. Here's Martin on the back door. Good feed by Briggs. And Coach Seymour now has seen enough. Timeout pace. St. A's putting together a run of their own. Six unanswered over the last couple of minutes. Looking for a ball screen with three to go. Back door, it's Martin on the feed. Got it at the buzzer. A long two for Michaela Martin. Her second field goal able to beat the clock. And end the quarter on a high note. St. A's with a five-point lead, 14-9, back to Manchester. And now it's Mazer the other way for St. A's. Out from behind. Mazer for Steinman, thought about it, liked it, and knocks it down. That's the first three-point attempt of the night for St. A's. They make it count, gives them a 10-point lead. Yep, only played eight games in her first year on the Hilltop. Three-pointer up and in. That's Steinman. From straight away, and Peyton with her second from downtown. No good. Rebound Steinman. Long pass down the floor. Messler, spin move. In the lane, and the banker is good. Oh, nice move from the block. Timeout, pace. A home run pass leads to another bucket. Up top, Briggs tend to shoot. Dribble drive down the lane. Banker is good, and the foul. Ashley Briggs showing the ability to attack. Hold on, I mean... Not similar size, but then she takes it out to shoot a 17-footer. Briggs for three. Yes, sir. Wow. Given plenty of room in the corner there, and that's the Hawks' largest lead now on the board, 40-23. Throwing it off the window while on her heels. Shedder into the Ooh. lane, blocked by Ryan. Yeah. Right. No chance on that. Ryan with a 38th block of the season. Yes, yeah, get that shot out of here. Closest they have been since early in the second quarter. Yeah. Ten to shoot, Steinman will. Three-pointer in the hole. <laughs> in case of emergency, break glass. There's Peyton Steinman to knock down a triple. Across the lane for Messler. Count the bucket and the foul. That's just a nice interior pass by Peyton Steinman. And... Steinman for three. High archer up and Ooh. in her fourth from downtown. Oh. Got it over Wong. Petroselli inside. Power dribble. Right hand hook is good. <laughs> The friendly bounce off the hometown rims. Nice move to the paint, though, by Petroselli. The little jump hook. Hey, let's go. To the rim. Shetter had it blocked by Ryan. Her fourth rejection. Martin takes the outlet. The bounce pass for Briggs is corralled, and then the bucket comes off the glass. And it's tracked down by Mazer with five seconds, and that is going to do it. St. Ansem with a strong second half. Able to beat pace. 72 46 the final. It's the fourth straight victory for the Hawks. Their 14th overall and ninth in conference pace. They dropped below the 500 mark in conference and now 5 and 6 and 8 and 11 overall. But it was a, it was a great team win, uh, as you mentioned. It, you know, slow start. They came out and pressured us and, um, you know, we made some adjustments and, you know, credit our team for being able to do so. And, you know, once we you know, settled in, we moved the ball. You know, we got we got comfortable to get what we want on offense. And you know, I thought we defended really well, especially in the first half. Um, you know, limiting their perimeter shooters and um, you know, helping and containing the drives. Right now, in this time of year, um, you know, it's great when the offense gets going. But getting those tough stops against good offensive teams is you know, critical. Yeah, so Peyton's been playing really well now for a couple of weeks, and um, you know, really stepped into a nice role. You know, tonight, um, you know, called upon, you know, to play a little bit of point guard and create and be a playmaker, but with still within that role, she was able to um, find her spots to be aggressive and, and make some plays for herself as well. So, you know, the three rebounds away from the triple-double, that, that's great, but I think she's just really excited that she was able to do what she could do to help the team win tonight. We really, right now, are, you know, making that an emphasis and focus. 
you know, as it gets closer to playoff time, you want to make sure that defensively you're locked in and, um, you know, five people connected, moving with the ball and helping each other. And, and so tonight we saw that um, definitely in the majority of the possessions. And uh, I thought we did a good job in our rotations. And again, you know, they, they attack off the dribble so much that we, we know that we're going to get into rotations and scrambles. And, and we did, and we had some good cover downs. And I thought that we did, a, you know, a good job, you know, helping to help her when we had to.